what is the criteria for deciding the points? So for that, we have to learn a little bit Dr. Tan Valence method. So I will tell you the 10 balance method in the class of 10 balance, but right now, little bit I'm introducing because that introduction is required for learning the master tool. So if we are doing any treatment as per the master tool acupuncture, there are three criteria. Criteria number one, we are doing the treatment as per the image or we tell it image correspondence. What is that? The image correspondence means We are having two arm, one is the right arm, one is the left arm. So right arm looks like left arm. So if anything happening anywhere in the right arm, we are doing the treatment in the left arm on the same location. That is called image. So like right arm look like the left arm and we are having the pain in the right wrist. So we will treat the left wrist. This is called image correspondence. So this is the criteria number one as per the master tool. So we can treat right arm for left arm and vice versa. Not only this, if we see the right arm means arm and legs looks like same because in the BC, this is the arm. In the arm, we have shoulder joint. Then we have elbow joint. Then we have wrist joint. Then we have thumb and fingers. If we see the legs, in the leg also, we have hip joint, then we have knee joint, then we have ankle joint, then we have toes. So if we do the comparison, shoulder joint look like hip joint, elbow joint look like knee joint, wrist joint, look like ankle joint and fingers looks like toes. So this is called imagination. We tell this imagination or we can tell it mirroring means look like mirror. Like if you are standing in front of the mirror, so you are looking some person who is in the mirror, that person same look like you. In the same way, this is something looking like mirror. So arm look like other arm, arm look like legs. So these are the mirror. So we are keeping this in the criteria one as per the master tool. So as per the master tool, the criteria number one for doing the treatment of any body part, that is image correspondence. If you see the human body, So in this body, we can see very clearly that this is the right arm. Look like left arm. So if someone is suffering with the shoulder joint pain here, we can treat in the opposite side. If someone is suffering with the elbow pain here, we can treat opposite side. If someone is suffering with the wrist joint pain here, 
we can treat opposite side so shoulder for shoulder knee for sorry elbow for elbow wrist for wrist so this is looking like mirror so this is in the number 1 criteria or we are telling it image correspondence as per the master tool so as per this criteria if we divide the arm in the five parts let's divide the arm in the five part one is upper arm so this is the one is shoulder joint second is upper arm third one is elbow joint then lower arm then this is the part or we can divide in the different way so that will be the easy let's see again so we are dividing this arm in the five parts so one is upper arm number 1 number 2 is the elbow joint number 3 is the lower arm number 4 is the wrist joint and number 5 is the palm and finger so now if you want to treat the upper arm on the right side you can treat the upper arm of the left side if you want to treat the elbow of the right side you can treat the elbow of the other side if you want to treat the lower arm of the right side you can treat the lower arm of the opposite side if you want to treat the wrist joint of the right side you can treat the wrist of the opposite side if you want to treat the palm and finger of the right side you can treat the palm and finger of the opposite side so this is called normal mirroring we are doing just mirroring so which part looking like the same in the other hand we are doing treatment there so now i will write down the same thing here i am writing the same same thing here so this is my right arm and this is the left arm if i want to treat the upper arm then elbow joint then lower arm then wrist joint then palm and finger so i can treat in the left side in the same position means upper arm elbow joint lower arm wrist joint 
and palm and finger. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. This is called normal mirroring. We are making the normal mirroring. Now, if we reverse it, the meaning of reverse is now we are treating upper arm just we do the re reverse so let's see here if we do the reverse here so this part will be the same means upper arm elbow joint low arm wrist joint palm and finger so master tongue has been given everywhere normal imagination and reverse imagination the meaning of reverse imagination is now we are keeping one hand like this and we are keeping other hand like this means now we are doing the reverse imagination now if someone is suffering with the pain in the upper arm we can treat with the palm and finger and we are having wonderful point for the shoulder pain for the upper arm pain in the palm and finger so we are doing the doing the treatment of the upper arm in the palm and finger if someone is suffering with the problem in the elbow joint we can needle the wrist joint lower arm can be treated in the upper arm so in this way let's see in this image again yeah so now let's see here so if someone is having pain here we can treat here we are doing the reverse imagination if someone having pain here we can treat we can treat the here if someone having pain in this elbow we can treat in this elbow so this is the correction elbow for elbow because always elbow will be in the middle if someone having pain in this part we can treat this part if someone having some problem in the fingers we can treat shoulder region so in this way we can understand in that way shoulder can be treated in the palm this upper arm can be treated in the lower arm this upper arm can be treated in the lower arm this elbow can can be treated in the other elbow so this is called normal imagination and reverse imagination we will learn these all the things in the detail this is just basic things which we should know right now so master tongue has been told that whenever we are planning the treatment we have to do first we are doing the treatment as per the image so first we are making the treatment as per the image correspondence an image may be in the two way one is normal image one is reverse image in the normal image
we are treating the same body area in the other arm or other leg but in the reverse imagination just i told you shoulder will treat in the palm upper arm will be treated in the lower arm in the other hand elbow will be treated in the elbow in the other hand lower arm will be treated in the upper arm in the other hand and wrist and finger will be treated in the shoulder joint so this is called imagination or mirroring this is the first concept of the master plan in the same way when we are comparing one leg with the other leg this hip joint is if someone is having pain in this hip joint we can treat other hip joint if someone having pain in this upper leg we can treat other leg if someone having problem in the knee joint we can treat other knee joint someone having problem in the lower leg we can treat other legs someone having pain in the ankle joint we can treat other ankle someone having problem in the feet and toes we can treat other feet and toes so this is the normal image normal mirroring normal mirroring and what is reverse mirroring here so as per the reverse mirroring hip pain someone having hip pain we will treat here in the foot area so many person having nowadays hip pain so we will treat here somewhere in the foot and ankle joint someone having pain in the thigh region or this part so we will treat the lower leg knee will be treated in the other knee the lower leg of the right side will be treated in the thigh and ankle and feet we can treat in the hip region in this way so we are doing the treatment in the normal way and in the reverse way so this is the first concept of master tun so first concept of master tun first criteria of the master tun is that is called image correspondence and as per the image correspondence master tun has been divided this image correspondence in three parts one two three what is three part the meaning of three part we can imagine whole body in the arm so when we are doing the imagination of whole body in the arm so we are considering arm as a complete body or we are considering leg as a complete body so in this arm or in this leg we are having complete body means we are have we can do the imagination of each and every part so this is called large imagination large imagination part number 2 as per the part number 2 we can do the imagination of whole body in just half of the arm only in this much part or in the half of the leg only in this much part 
so when we are doing the imagination of whole body in just half of arm in the half of leg this system has been discovered because people coming to us they are having wearing the clothes till the elbow till the knee and sometimes it become very difficult to put the point in the hip region to put the point in the shoulder region so this second system has been developed that we can choose the point just in this much area and we can do the imagination of whole body in the half part or we can do the imagination of the whole body in the half leg or half arm this is called medium imagination so first i told you large imagination large second is called medium imagination and in the third one imagination is third as per the third imagination of master to that is small a small imagination as per the small imagination we are doing the imagination of whole body in each and every <clears throat> bone or we can tell tubular bone means each and every bone either we talk about the this radius bone or <clears throat> we talk about the this ulnar bone like look at this body in this arm we can see we have two bones this is the radius bone so we are doing the imagination of whole body in this is just one bone we are doing the imagination of whole body in this just bone this is the ulnar bone ulna we are doing the imagination of whole body in each and every bone in each and every tubular bone all the bones who looks like tube so we are doing the imagination like look at the legs in the leg region we have this is the tibia bone so we are doing the imagination of whole body in the tibia bone the meaning of imagination that we are considering whole body here so let's see one example here so divide this bone in four parts one So this is a one, two, three, four. We are talking about just one bone. That is the tibia bone. <clears throat> so this is the center. We have two part up and two part down. so first part belong to head and neck second part belong to the chest cavity third part belong to the abdomen and fourth part belong to the reproductive part and in between we have this navel region so in this way each and every bone can be divided in the same manner so let's see some other bone look at this bone of the thigh 
we can divide the thigh bone also in four parts. One, two, three, four. The name of this thigh bone is femur. <clears throat> so this is the head and neck. Second is the chest region. Not only chest, frontal part of the chest and back of the chest also means upper back. This third part is abdomen and fourth is reproductive part. So this first part will be the head and neck. Second part will be the chest cavity. Third part will be abdomen. And fourth part will be a reproductive part. In this way, you can divide each and every bone of the body in this way. Let's see one other bone. Like look at this palm. And the palm, we have multi, many bones. This is called metacarpal bone. This is one metacarpal bone. And divide, divide this metacarpal bone in four, four parts. One, two, three, four. So this upper part is head and neck. The second part is chest region. The third part is abdomen region. And fourth is the reproductive part. So head, chest, abdomen, reproductive part. In this way, you can divide each and every bone. Even this middle finger bone can be divided in four parts. Even this ring finger bone can be divided in four parts. So we are talking about the metacarpal bone right now because it is tubular bone. So we have five metacarpal bone in the palm. So when we talk about the any bone in the arm, we have two bone in the arm. So one lateral side, outer side, this is the radius bone. And this is the inner side, this is the ulnar bone. So we can divide this radius bone in the four part. Even we can divide this ulnar bone in the four part. When we talk about the hum humerus bone, So let's see here. This is the humerus bone. Even we can divide this humerus bone in the four part. One, two, three, four. First part is head and neck. Second part is chest region. Third part is abdomen. Fourth part is reproductive part. Not only this, reverse also possible. In each and every tubular bone, we can do all, both imagination, means normal and inverse imagination. So in, if we do the inverse imagination, this will be one, two, three, and four. So when we talk about the any tubular bone, this is called a smaller imagination. So as per the master term, there are three types of imagination. One is very larger imagination. Like we are doing the imagination of full arm in the other full arm. We are doing the imagination of the full leg in the other full leg.
we are doing the imagination of the full arm in the full leg so either you do the imagination of the arm arm to arm leg to leg or arm to leg but you are doing the imagination in whole because patient coming to us he will tell you he will tell i have shoulder pain i have elbow pain i have wrist pain i have numbness in my these finger these finger these finger or pain in the finger so he may complain problem in the any any where any part of the arm so when you are doing this imagination in complete arm this is called large imagination but when you are doing the imagination of whole arm in just half means either you want to treat the shoulder region you have to treat in the half of the arm you want to treat the upper arm elbow joint lower arm you are doing the imagination in the half part it may be elbow to finger or it may be knee to toes but when we do in the half part it is called medium imagination and when we are doing the imagination of whole arm means shoulder elbow wrist and finger so when we are doing the imagination of whole arm in just one bone any bone suppose this is the tibia bone in the legs and when we are doing the imagination of whole arm in just one bone this is called a smaller imagination a small imagination so when we are planning any treatment in the complete arm this is the condition number 1 when we are planning any treatment in half of the arm this is the condition number 2 when we are planning any treatment in just one bone maybe in the bone of the arm and this is the radius bone this is the condition number 3 so this is called large imagination this is called medium imagination and this is called small imagination and master dum has told tai chi large tai chi medium tai chi small tai chi the meaning of large tai chi you want to treat anything in full arm or full leg medium tai chi you want to treat some problem in the half of the arm or half of the leg means elbow to down or knee to down and small tai chi means you want to treat any problem in just one bone you are considering but any bone as a full body and it may be normal or reverse and this is depend on us we can divide one bone in the five part we can divide one bone in the 10 part we can divide one bone in the 50 part so we have ready classification but as per our imagination we can divide any bone in multiple parts so
screen. We are treating the problem of the arm. Then we are treating the problem of the legs. In the other leg. When we are treating the problem of the legs in the other leg, either we are treating normal or reverse. This is called mirroring. The meaning of mirroring is because both legs looks like same, like mirror image. When we are doing the treatment of arm, In the other arm, either you do normal or reverse. Because both arms look like same, so it is also called mirroring. Either you do the normal treatment or you do the reverse imagination. In the both condition, it will it is called mirroring. It looks like mirror. One arm looks like other arm. So when we are treating one leg in the other leg, either normal or reverse, means knee, this pain, ankle pain, we are treating in the other ankle. This is the normal imagination. And ankle pain, we are treating in the reverse, opposite side. That is reverse imagination. In the both condition, this is called mirroring. The meaning of mirroring, they looks like same. But when we are doing the treatment of body in the arm, so like this is the body and this is the arm. We can move the neck, right and left. Even we can move the wrist, right and left. So neck look like wrist. This upper part of the head look like the fingers. It not look like we are doing the imagination. It is not looking like we are doing the imagination. The meaning of imagination that you are walking in the night on the road and seeing a tree in the dark and doing the imagination of ghost. The tree is not ghost, but that time you can imagine who oh, this tree looking like a ghost. And you are looking the moon and you, you are looking two eyes, one mouth. This is imagination. The meaning of imagination, you can imagine anything, anywhere. In the stone, you can imagine the God. So arm also looking like body. So this is imagination because it is not mirror. Mirror means when we keep in the mirror, it look like same. It is not mirror. It is image. So this is called imagination. So the imagination means fingers looking like fingers. We are doing the imagination of head, wrist as a neck, this arm area as a chest, then elbow joint as a navel region, and the upper arm we are doing as for the abdomen and the reproductive part in the axilla or shoulder joint. So in this imagination, head, head and face, we are doing imagination with the fingers and palm. Neck with the wrist, chest region with the lower arm, Navel region with the elbow joint, abdomen with the upper arm, reproductive part with the shoulder area. 
so as per this imagination if some patient coming to you who with the complaint of headache we will treat in the fingers or palm facial paralysis numbness of the face we can treat in the palm pain of the teeth we can treat in the finger and palm neck pain we can treat in the wrist chest pain we can treat in the lower arm in this way and also abdominal pain we can treat in the upper arm and all the problem of the reproductive part we can treat in the axilla and the shoulder area so in the shoulder area we will we are having many points those who are working for the reproductive problem of the male and female so as per this is called imagination so we can do the imagination of arm one arm into the other arm and also we can do the imagination of whole body into the arm so we are doing in the same way we can also do the imagination of feet here so let's make a feet so this is a feet so we are doing the imagination of feet toes is corresponding to the head head area means toes and feet and ankle joint is looking like neck joint chest can be treated in the lower leg area the problem around the navel region can be treated at the knee joint the problem of the abdomen can be treated in the thigh area and the problem of the reproductive part can be treated in the hip joint or nearby hip area so this is imagination and this is so beautiful imagination after learning few chapter then you will recognize as for the imagination as soon as we put the point it affect within 6 seconds in fact it started within 6 seconds for the headache we put the point in the finger or toes effect to start within 6 seconds for the neck pain we put the needle or seeds or we do acupressure in the wrist joint or ankle joint in that way, we can do the treatment so this is one imagination even we can reverse the arm and reverse the feet if we reverse the arm and reverse the feet then finger will treat the reproductive part toes will also treat the reproductive part now we are if we are doing the reverse imagination and shoulder joint will treat the headache and hip joint also will treat the headache so this is called imagination so when we want to treat the problem of the arm the problem of the feet or problem of the legs or problem of the whole body means problem of torso means head neck chest abdomen area so if we want to treat any problem whatever problem wherever it is but when we are doing the treatment in whole arm or in the whole leg so we are doing the imagination in the whole arm or whole leg this is called large tai chi what we don't want to do the treatment in the whole arm it is impractical sometimes because patient coming to us wearing the cloth till the elbow or till the knee joint and it is difficult for every patient to remove the cloth till the hip region or till the shoulder region so 
So we will go to the next. If we are doing the treatment in the half of arm or half of leg, means we are doing the treatment in the elbow to down or knee to down. That is called medium Tai Chi. And when we are planning any treatment in just in one bone, any bone, any tubular bone, any bone who looks like tube, any bone in the body, it is called, it is a small Tai Chi. So, a small Tai Chi having three parts. One, two, three. As for the part number one, we are doing the treatment of all problems in just one bone, any bone. Part number two. We are doing the treatment of whole body just in the face. Face has been divided in three parts. Face has been divided in three parts. Upper, middle, and lower. So we have divided any body part. Means if we want to treat the head and the problem of head and chest, we can treat in the upper part. If we want to treat the problem of the abdomen area, we can treat here. If we want to treat any problem of the reproductive area, we can treat here. So when we praise the chin, when we do the acupressure on the chin, it is very good for the reproductive hormones. And when we stimulate the forehead, it is very good for head, and, head, neck and chest. Because right now we are dividing whole face in the just three parts and we are doing any problem, a treatment of any disease just on the face. Either this is headache or this is abdominal pain or kidney stone, or a reproductive problem, or lower back pain, or knee pain. We are doing treatment of each and every problem just on the face. So we are choosing one very small area. So this is also coming in the small Tai Chi. So either we choose one bone, or we choose just one face that come in small Tai Chi. Or third one. If we are doing the treatment of any problem, under the feet. So under the feet, be a body like this. Under the feet, we have body like this. Head is toward the thumb side, chest toward the index finger, and lower back toward the last two finger. So we will discuss that thing. When we will discuss about the feet. So when we are doing the imagination of whole body in this way, this is also called a small thigh chi. So as for the master tone, you can treat the back pain here and at many places. But there are many proven points. There are many experienced points. With the help of them, you can work very nicely. But this subject is the subject of imagination. You can develop lots of your points. There are lots of fixed points we are going to discuss. There are lots of fixed protocol as per the imagination, as per the concept. But if you develop your own imagination, you can 
make lots of more another points. So finally, I told you when we plan any treatment, planning treatment, we have three criteria. Criteria number one. Criteria number one is image correspondence. And we still we have to discuss criteria number two. Criteria number three, we will discuss later on. So how to make the protocol? So criteria number one as per the image correspondence. So just we are doing the image as per the large image or large Tai Chi, as per the medium Tai Chi, as per the small Tai Chi, And in every Tai Chi, we have normal as well as reverse image. Then in the large Tai Chi, we are taking whole arm or whole feet for the treatment purpose, whole arm or whole leg. whole arm or whole leg for the treatment purpose. We have to put the needle anywhere in the whole arm, but in the half Tai Chi, we are just taking elbow to down or knee to down, half part. So elbow, elbow to down till the fingers, knee to down till the toes and the small Tai Chi any bone or face area or foot area. So this, this is the first criteria of imagination. When we will discuss the point, that time this knowledge will come. I will tell you that I am taking this point for the lung problem. Then you will ask why you're taking lung problem here. Then I will explain you because I am doing the imagination of whole body here. I will give you one example. Like this is the middle finger. in the middle finger. Let's see one other example. Maybe you will confuse with this example. So we are taking the example of ulnar bone. So in this arm, we have two bone here. One is this bone, one is this bone. The name of this bone is Allah. The name of this bone is radius. So I will tell you later on, then I am taking heart point here, liver point here. And intestine point here. Then you will ask why heart point here? Because I have divided this bone, bone in three parts. This is the upper part, this is the middle part, this is the lower part. 
So in the upper part, in the upper area, we can choose the heart point. In the middle part, we can choose the liver point. In the lower part, we can choose the intestine point. So the location, everything is fixed. But when we want to, in the depth of the subject, then we should have the knowledge of concept that why this point has been taken here. In the same way, when we talk about the legs, We know if we see the leg area, and this is the bone. This is the bone, one bone. The name of this bone is tibia. And I am dividing this bone in three parts, upper, middle, and lower. And I will treat this area for headache. I will treat this area for the digestion. And I will treat this area for the reproductive problems. As per this imagination, I am doing the imagination of whole body in one bone. And we know, as per the acupuncture, we have spleen six point here. Spleen six, that is very good for the reproductive problem. Look at in this image. This point is a very famous acupuncture, acupuncture point, spleen six. This is in the lower part of the bone, spleen six. This point has been considered as a very excellent point for the reproductive problem, especially if some female suffering with the Dysmenorrhea, painful menstruation, spleen six is the excellent point. Why? Because it is in the lower part. In the same way, when we go in the upper part, in the same bone, when we are going in the upper part, that is spleen nine point, we can see here in this image, the uppermost part is spleen nine. This is very good for the headache. Why? For headache. What is the relationship with the knee or head? By knee point can work on the headache. Because this is the point which is on the uppermost part of the bone, spleen nine. So this point is one of the best points for headache. So this, in the traditional Chinese medicine, we are studying a lots of points, we are studying a lots of protocol, but in the TCM, points are given there. And they have written, these are empirical point. The meaning of empirical point, I mean, they are very good, they are very useful, but we don't know why they are good. People are using them since longer time, but why they are good, we don't know. But in the master in acupuncture, you will find the reason of every point, why they are good for a particular problem. So, this is, image correspondence. This is criteria number one. So today we have learned the criteria number one that is image correspondence. In the image correspondence we have large, medium and small Tai Chi. Then we will learn second criteria. The second criteria has been explained by Dr. Tan, that is called channel correspondence. 